first step to throwing on the wheel is getting the clay centered. Get your body sitting close to the wheel as comfortable. Your back needs to be straight and lean forward until your nose is directly over the wheel head. You're going to take this, I wedged up about a, a two pound ball of clay and you're going to throw it as close to the middle as possible. If you're a little off, you can reposition it as needed. And then give it a nice couple tap, uh, taps on the top here. This ensures that the clay is adhered to the bat. Um, I've seen people, you know, throw the clay on there, throw on some water, start applying pressure, and then the lump of clay will fly off. This just prevents it from doing exactly that. So we're going to get our clay wet. Get her hands wet. And before we touch this clay, I'm going to talk about the actual position of our body and our arms or hands when we're centering. Your left elbow needs to be wedged into your hip here. And you are going to apply pressure at about 7 o'clock with your left hand on this clay. But the pressure is not coming from your muscles or you're not moving it physically, you know, with any of these muscles you have your elbow wedged into your body so that when you lean forward the weight is distributed directly through your arm to the clay. This prevents you from having to overwork your muscles uh, resulting in repetitive stress injuries and stuff like that. So wet your clay, wet your hands, get your elbow locked into your hip and at 7 o'clock you're going to apply downward and forward pressure by just leaning forward and you're going to see the clay start to pop up and start to settle down. At that point you're going to get your right hand involved to coax that clay up into the shape of a cone. So working opposite of 7 o'clock at about 2 o'clock with your right hand you're going to apply pressure inward and move up and you'll see a nice cone develop. Now make sure you keep your clay wet and shiny at this stage. You don't want the clay to stick to your hand. If it sticks to your hand, it's going to torque, and it's the opposite of centering. So now that we've got this cone, I obviously can't center, or uh, I can't throw a piece of pottery that, out of this cone. I need to bring it down to about the shape of a hockey puck. The way I do that is maintain the same position with your elbow wedged into your side here and with your right hand you're going to crisscross your thumbs and kind of make a butterfly and you're just going to mash down the clay wrapping your fingers around the base preventing the clay from moving out that way so this is the basic hockey puck I will generally cone up my clay and bring it down about twice. And what I'm doing is getting all the clay particles to be moving in the same direction as the wheel head and getting out any excess air bubbles that might have been left over after wedging. So again, your left elbow is wedged into your side here and at 7 o'clock you're going to apply downward and forward pressure until your clay pops up. When that happens, get your right hand in there and continue bringing that clay up into the nice shape of a cone. Your left hand is still in that position. Butterfly with your right hand. You're going to start mashing that clay down. Now I want you to take a moment and notice where my what my left hand position is. You'll notice that my left thumb is bisecting the clay right down the center. If it weren't, when I was pressing down, you'd start to get this little knob like this. We don't want that. So if you keep it directly in the middle, it will prevent that. You'll also notice that my entire left hand is in contact with the clay. My pinky is in contact with the very skirt, this bottom right here of the clay, and the shoulder, this part here, is being um, controlled by this middle part, this fatty part of my hand, as it wraps over like that. My right hand is basically mimicking it. And 
this creates a really nice hockey puck. So this is what it looks like a little bit faster. Now I have a nicely centered piece of clay.